seconds. Rick DiPietro, a goaltender from Boston University, and Danny Heatley out of the University of Wisconsin and from Calgary. The first of the expansion teams, this year's expansion teams, to draft next the Minnesota Wild and Doug Reisbrower up next. Well, you know, it's interesting here, Minnesota, it's not like a regular expansion team coming in because obviously Minnesota's had NHL hockey before. And with the hiring of Jacques Lemaire, that would indicate to me that they want to win and they want to win early. I'm sure they're going to use the Florida Panthers as a bit of a model franchise, but uh, I, I think there's going to be a lot of pressure. You know, the old saying in, in Minnesota is that people love hockey in Minnesota, they just don't like the NHL. So Dougie Risebrow's got his work cut out for him. Already he's made moves on that list you just saw with Mike Vernon going to Calgary. Joe Juno has been moved to Phoenix, and now the Minnesota Wild will pick a player, and I don't know that there's a Minnesotan available right now. Doug Reisbrow is about to make his pick. With, uh, yesterday's expansion draft and today's entry draft, these are significant days for the Minnesota Wild in bringing in NHL hockey back to Minnesota. And it gives me personal pleasure to make that announcement here in Calgary where I saw such strong support for the Flames for so many years and know that that will continue. The Minnesota Wild with their first selection in the 2000 entry draft and their first player ever are pleased to select Marian Gaborik from Trenchin, Slovakia. Marian Gaborik is a left winger who shoots left He's a big man. He decided not to come to North America because he could play in the Czechoslovakian or the Slovakian, excuse me, elite league. He is the son of a furniture maker. His parents were able to make the trip with him today. Marian Gaborik is the number three pick and the first member of the Minnesota Wild out of the entry draft. Well, it's interesting. You know, people put a lot of pressure on these kids to do well at the World Junior Championship, and Marion didn't have a good WJC this year, but the fact remains he's considered one of the best snipers and uh, a pure goal scorer, and uh, that's what an expansion team needs. They, they want a kid who can step in uh, and, and make an impact right off the bat. Whether or not this kid can do it, I'm not certain, but I think he made a wise decision by staying back and playing against older competition, playing against men, because that makes it a little bit easier when you come over to North America and you're playing against the best men in the world. Part of the decision for these young men is that if you can stay in Slovakia or the Czech Republic and play in the elite league against older men, it's worth staying. If you're going to make just a junior team, you're probably better off to come to North America, and that's why some of them make the decision to come to North America and train. Gaborik stayed home, was able to live in his hometown, a town of 80,000 in Slovakia, the same town that Marion and Marcel Hosa, who will be drafted later today, came from, and he's a childhood friend of theirs. It's the town that brought Miro Shatan to the NHL, and Ziggy Palfi as well came from the same team as the Minnesota Wilds, Marion Gabor. The last time the Minnesota had a pick, it was the North Stars, and they drafted a goaltender from Roseville, Minnesota, named Jeff Ramon. <laughs> Eight years later, Minnesota's back in the draft. Let's hope they've the done a little better this time. <laughs> Eight years later, they're back in the draft and from Slovakia. No, there was even talk on the floor today that this kid could have gone number one overall. So, I mean, he's obviously a very good prospect when you hear his name mentioned as a possible number one. Well, the... In trying to get a consensus of who would be picked in the top five, it was hard to do. There were three names that kept coming up, though, from all of the scouts, Di Pietro, Heatley, and Gaborik, and they're now drafted. Barry and Gaborik of the Minnesota Wild. Here's Craig Simpson. Like a big day for your organization, obviously. How much was the fact that he played against older players uh, contribute to you picking him? Well, we felt that uh, if anybody could come in and play right away, it was him for that fact that he had played at world championship level and in, on the national team. But, you know, it's still a, a development issue. And in Minnesota, they know the heartaches of rushing guys too early. So we're not going to do that here. Did you have any thoughts of entertaining uh, uh, moving up in the, or down in the draft and making a trade possibly? Well, we did, but uh, we were really comfortable with what we were going to get. We, uh, we felt that when we won the coin toss, uh, that picking third was significant, so we didn't really push it. Well, congratulations and good luck in Minnesota. Thank you. Up to you, guys.